Joining me as we prepare this delicious Komoot hot cereal recipe. Add an 88 ounce of water. When the water comes to a boil, we want to add to pot. And if you don't have a scale, half of this bag is worth 12 ounces to give you a guideline. And as we add to the pot, we want to stir at the same time. Then time it for 40 minutes on medium heat and we will be back. I like to use a pot with lots of room to avoid overspilling, so if you ever use a small pot, keep an eye out. Sometimes it rims over. And this is how it looks at 20 minutes, so when I'm done mixing, I will transfer it to the back burner on extremely low heat and put a lid until it's done. It is now finished, all the water is dried up, and if you prefer your hot cereal greenier and not soft and thick like this, then it will take you less time to cook it. Let us now transfer it from the stove even though it is hot. And we have our scale here, so we will now measure it. And this is just to give you a brief idea of what this recipe made. And I like to prepare it like this to be able to use it throughout the week. It saves you so much time in the kitchen. And you want to also rake everything out of pot, even what is on the spoon, because it contributes to how much the recipe made. And this recipe made 59.28 ounce or 3.703 pounds. So that's about it for this here. And this can be used for both savory and breakfast meals. That's why I didn't add any sea salt or any sweetener while that was preparing this nor any milk. And if that's the way that you prefer, that is totally fine. I prefer to prepare it and to season it, to flavor it, as I put the meal together for the final touch. So that this can both have cereal can be versatile. And the thing is, even though this looks like a lot, if you're a person that's always consuming this type of food, plant based, you can store them in containers, and once your refrigerator is full, it lasts for about two weeks or less. All depends. If you're eating this type of way, you wouldn't allow that to last that long. So you can have this for breakfast, for lunch, so yeah. So stay tuned, I will post links in recipes that I've already prepared with this Kabuha cereal. And moving forward, I will show you other new recipes. Now it was confirmed to me that Bob's Red will discontinue this product at the beginning of this year. I'm not sure why, but some of my clients have told me they were still able to access this product and they were still able to find it. So if you can find it, I hope you will give this recipe a try. And if not, there are many other substitutions that I will be showing you moving forward. If you found this video helpful, consider to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.